Hi, hello everybody. Now I'm going to show how to crack the Unix for system password. So for that you need a password list. Password list means a file which is containing the huge password list. And then Ashcat tool. The Ashcat tool is used to crack the hash code. So here I'm using Kali Linux as my guest operating system in virtual box and then here I'm using the users uh, I'm using some I'm creating some account with the name Chandu add user Chandu so it is asking for a password so password is password 123 re-enter password password 123 so password updated success fully in pass DWD. so here it is asking for some other credentials so i don't uh, bother about these things so i'm directly i'm pressing hitting enter then press y so user has been created then so how to know the password or how to get the uh, hash code of that user so where it is stored so in the linux system or unix system every passwords every user passwords will be stored into the shadow file so shadow file is uh, uh, is available under the directory of etc so for the if you want to see that uh, information about the passwords users then you need to uh, go to the etc shadow file so vim vim, VIM is the editor so here this is the root so here it is having the root password hash code encrypted hash code and now i have created a new user called chandu so here chandu with the username and hash code encrypted hash code is available so in the encrypted hash code here a dollar six to dollar and then uh, next to dollar symbol so in between this thing is called salt code and this is completely called hash code and with the username so it is only read only file so it will allow you to only read this file but it not allowed you are not allowed to uh, edit or write any information directly so directly you can quit the file so for escape colon q then press enter so you can come out from the vi editor so that is only the shadow file is only having the read permission to the user if you even if you are the root user you can't write the information directly to the file or you can you do not modify you are not allowed to modify that information so what we have to do directly we have to copy that hash code with the username from that file to some another file so for that we need a you use tail command a tail is nothing but it displaying the content of the file which is in last but so the chandu user is in in that file the chandu is the user it is stored in the last line of the file in the shadow file so i am using tail so in the where is stored number i am specifying last one line so it is storing it was stored as stored in the shadow file in last then next where it is stored under etc in the shadow file or next where it has to be copied the text so it will copy the text of the user from the last line of the shadow file then you where it has to store where it has to store so somewhere so somewhere means you have to mention some file name uh, called with using chandu.hash so just use the list command so here we got the file called chandu.hash so if you want to see the whether it is copied or not so chandu.hash so we got the hash code including username 
but uh, cracking the password you don't require the username only hash code so for that uh, we need to edit the file called chandu.hash so press i for insert home then press delete button to delete including columns also press escape then press colon then w w for save q to quit save and exit ok now we got saved that file then I am displaying this file again for the confirmation so here the chandu username and with the colon has been removed so remaining thing only hash code will be there in that file so hash code is there and then we have to know the encryption method of this unix system so already some password is there we got the cash uh, we got the hash code of that uh, user account but which encryption algorithm they have used for uh, encrypting this password so for that knowing we need to use grep command sorry grep and a 18 then encrypt method encrypt method where it is available under etc logins dot devs so here we got the encryption method encrypt method SHA 512 so here SHA 512 file while creating the password SHA 512 algorithm is performing 5000 rounds that means iterations it is performing so uh, this is SHA 512 algorithm so we have done these things so what are the encryption algorithm they have used we got the hash code and we got the encryption method and now we are directly we can use the directly we can use the tool hashcat or gun ripper something any other tools what are the tools available for cracking the password of shirt fight well using hash code the help of hash code so and using hashcat just press type the hashcat command then press help so why we need to use I am showing so there are plenty of algorithms are there for encrypting the passwords here uh, ntlm is one type md4 sha1 sha512 sha256 this is the sha512 but in the unix system is using this id 1800 equal to sha512 unix so we cannot uh, we uh, don't want to specify the sha512 algorithm like this if we uh, specify this thing that means uh, it is going to block the system but uh, we that's why they have given some specific codes uh, specific numerical digit codes to assign the values to specify the values in the command so here sha512 equal to 1800 for unix system and here 17 1700 sha512 for other system so like that only the plenty of algorithms there by using this cache card you can crack the passwords so you can crack the ashes of this algorithm uh, algorithms encryption method so i am using hashcat so method hashcat method is what sha512 equal to 1800 and we need a uh, a a means a dictionary attack sorry i have to for, uh, forget one thing uh, here we need another thing we need a password list so here i am getting uh, ca cat ch dot text this is my dictionary file so it is containing some passwords right so these are the password i have used in that file so then we have to start our cracking using method ashcat 1800 then a for a dictionary attack dictionary attack is 0 and then uh, o, o for output file so 
after cracking that hash code and after cracking that password where it has to store it has to be stored in some file some file name you have to give here so like that phone phone.txt then remove remove means here after cracking the each hash it has to be removed from the file so for that i am giving the hash. next which password list you are going to use for the cracking so ch.txt okay here we have done so input methods dictionary attack called file which file we have used ch.txt and one, seg one segment file that is uh, available 35 bytes sorry 35 words and 296 bytes of memory this is a record one hash is there one salt code is there in that one planes and words and how many passwords are mm, uh, scanned that means 35 out of 35 that means 100 percent and here we got the uh, running time how much time it has taken okay and just use it a small list means 35 words this is a simple thing either in, in nanoseconds it can be cracked but if you are using uh, some uh, crores millions of uh, use uh, password containing list then it will take some time to crack it and as well as you can see estimated time at that at, uh, while you are tracking the password so here I got this so how you you know that just use ls command so here found.txt file we got them so in that file the password is has to be stored password may be stored so it, just watch it whether it cracked uh, or not found.txt so our password is password123 here we got it now so this is the hash code and this is the password for the user Chandu. So if I want to log in this, login, which account Chandu, I'm typing password 123. So applicable block. So till now we are in the root user, but now we are changed to username called Chandu. So this is how we are cracking you can crack a uh, root password whether by using hash code or somewhere else you can anything you can track it by using the hash code with the help of hashcat tool so thank you for watching this video please subscribe me and please hit the likes and that will help me a lot bye